Here in the i button and the description box below, you will get complete playlist of Fourier transform. Welcome to video number 15 and in this video we are going to solve a very important problem on the topic that is finite Fourier sine and cosine transform. Okay? Yes. Before I start this video, I would request you to subscribe to my channel and if you learn something from my videos, then please hit the like button and do share the playlist of uh, Fourier transform with your friends. Okay? We are dealing with the topic that is finite Fourier transform. Okay? So let us start. The problem says if Fourier sine transform of f of x equals to 1 minus cos n pi upon n square pi square in the range that is 0 to pi then find inverse finite Fourier sine transform okay yes here we have Fourier sine transform of f of x this is not f of x this is Fourier sine transform of f of x okay don't feel like this is f of x this is Fourier sine transform of f of x it means this is fsn okay this is fsn means Fourier sine transform of Fourier sine transform of f of x that is 1 minus cos n pi upon n square pi square okay and again here the limit is from 0 to pi it means this is finite okay this is this topic is finite Fourier sine or cosine transform okay but here we have sine so this problem belongs to finite Fourier sine transform okay because the limit is from 0 to pi here we need the value of c because we need to find find inverse finite Fourier sine transform that is f of x okay this is what we need to find as per the formula of uh, uh, inverse finite Fourier sine transform we have f of x equals to 2 upon c summation n equals to 1 to infinity this is Fourier sine transform okay into sine n pi x upon c what is c okay c is the interval size okay that is pi minus 0 okay c equals to pi minus 0 that is pi okay simply put the value of pi here you will get 2 upon pi okay summation n equals to 1 to infinity what is fsn that is Fourier sine transform okay that is 1 minus cos n pi upon n square pi square okay simply write this here okay and here we have that is sin n pi x upon c that is pi so pi pi gets cancelled okay we can take this pi square here so this is going to be don't take n square here because in summation here we have summation n equals to 1 to infinity so yes the n values is changing okay the value of n is changing from 1 to infinity so we cannot take n here okay we will take we will write all the uh, terms of n in the rhs part okay right hand side uh, right uh, right hand side of this okay so 2 upon pi into pi so that is 2 upon pi cube summation n equals to 1 to infinity here we have 1 minus cos n pi upon n square into sin nx okay and this is supposed to be my answer okay yes thank you thank you so much